as I entered religious life, I dreamt that I could carry on the prophetic witness of the early Jesuits at St. Joseph's Parish, who were my other great teachers. Although life as a Jesuit has led me to missions seemingly far from the poor, Saratin Jona, the provincial assistant for secondary and primary education for the Northwest African province of the Society of Jesus. A series of harsh experiences in life led me in early 1980 to the Jesus in St. Joseph Catholic Church, Benin City, Nigeria. Through their example and lifestyle of service to the poor, a commitment to common life, and a joyful prophetic witness. They showed me the pathway to true poverty and humility. I was in the middle of the Master of Forensic Chemistry program at Northeastern University, Boston, when I received the sad news that my father had passed away at 52 and that he had been buried. As an African and first son, I was devastated that I could not even participate in my father's burial rites to bring closure to the loss. Another calamity struck when I was involved in a car accident in New York City. My girlfriend got severely burned, third degree bones all over her body, and later died. Soon afterwards, I returned to Lagos, Nigeria, and my job as a forensic chemist with the dream of making a difference in the forensic laboratory. A couple of years later, the aforementioned experiences left me mentally perplexed and despondent. that I started to experience sleeplessness, fears, anxiety, worry, and grief. Natural, naturally, I sought help. I prayed, attended mass more frequently, went to counseling and spoke with spiritual directors. Yet, I remained in a state of inner turmoil. I resigned from my job and left the city of Lagos. I relocated to Benin City, my hometown, and my home parish of St. Joseph to meet the four American Jesus who took over the management of the parish. I was pleasantly surprised by the friendship and solidarity with the poor that typified the life and ministry of these white American Jesuits. They got my attention because of the programs they had in place in the parish. There was a soup kitchen in Joseph's house where the hungry could get one hot, nourishing meal a day, and the homeless poor could take a shower and change to new clothes. They welcomed persons with disabilities providing a family-like setting for them in the faith house. They brought the compassion of Jesus to the prisons and to the leprosorium, which was 60 kilometers away. I got immersed in the life of the parish and served in different capacities. The state of my inner turmoil gradually was being transmuted into peace, joy, and strength. I appeared at 45 years to join the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, in order to spend the remaining years of my life in it. When the superior suggested I apply to join as a brother, I had no objections, as I was more than happy to be walking on Main Street under the sunlight. Where did I feel guilty, angry, ashamed, or resistant? That I could not fulfill the role expected of me thoughts of religious vocation kept coming up in my spiritual direction. I thought the place to be was with my mom and siblings. The Lord had pity on me and freed me. In August 1995, I entered the novitiate and pronounced my final vows 20 years later in April 2015. Entrance day, a Jesuit scholastic, Judeo Diaka, drove me to the novitiate on my entrance day, August 6, 1995. Jude would become the first Nigerian provincial 
of the African Northwest Province 16 years later. On our way, I asked him to drive me to the Faith House, the home for the people with disabilities who had become my friends. I wanted to thank them for the helpfulness received from them. That I was finally accepting my call to religious life was partly due to the gifts I received from them. I learned from them to trust more and live by abandoning myself in the hands of God, like being a treasurer of the African Northwest Province and principal of Lula Jesuit College in Abuja. I see these ministries as a part of my poverty in not being able to choose for myself. What I have learned from the poor and those early Jesuits has taught me to let myself be empty and abandon myself completely to God.